What's up guys, it's Nathan here. Are you a first homeowner in New South Wales? If so, the clock is ticking. With just three months left to make use of an additional $66,000 in your budget, the countdown is on as the New South Wales Labor government plans to scrap Liberal's previously implemented stamp duty reform. In today's video, we will dive into the details of these changes and how they might affect your home buying journey. We'll explore the predictions of real estate agents and economists alike, discuss the potential surge in activity before the deadline arrives, and analyze how new concessions starting in July will impact the housing market. So let's dive in. First home buyers in New South Wales have just three months left to make use of an additional $66,000 in their budget as the new Labor government plans to scrap Liberal's previous stamp duty reform. Though few first home buyers are aware of these changes, real estate agents anticipate a surge in activity prior to the deadline, while others wait for new concessions beginning in July. In the current policy, which is only initiated in the 16th of January this year, first homeowners can actually choose to pay their stamp duty as an annual property tax up to a value of $1.5 million purchase price, which bypassed upfront stamp duty of $66,000, which can be utilized for their home deposit instead. However, this is all set to change on the 1st of July when the Labor government intends to eliminate the property tax option and introduce stamp duty exemption for first home buyers purchasing a property up to $850,000 and concessions for homes up to a million dollars, according to New South Wales government spokesman. First homeowners who opted for the property tax before the deadline will be able to continue paying their tax while they own their home. Presently, first homeowners have the option to pay a land tax on their first home. And if you find value in this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button as it really helps out the channel. And a big thank you to all our subscribers for your support inspires us to create more content. We hope you enjoy. Australia's leading economists concur that implementing or increasing land taxes is the most efficient way for the government to generate revenue. As a recent survey found, land taxes provide a steady and recurrent stream of tax and is less restrictive for home buyers who want to relocate for better housing or job opportunities, as well as posing a lower barrier to entry into the housing market. Under the New South Wales Labor government, first homeowners will actually pay no stamp duty for properties up to the value of $800,000 and a concessional rate for properties up to a million dollars. The policy is slated to take effect on the 1st of July. Currently, homes up to the value of $650,000 qualify for this exemption of zero stamp duty, while homes up to $800,000 qualify for an exemption. The Labor government plans to repeal the former coalition government's opt-in property tax scheme, which allows first homeowners of higher cost properties to avoid stamp duty. By the 30th of June this year, they're going to repeal that. But until then, first homeowners can choose between paying stamp duty upfront or a smaller property tax on properties up to the value of $1.5 million. A Labor government spokesman stated that the party had clear plan to repeal the tax during the election and now has mandated to execute the plan. Dr. Philip Tupple, chief economist at the Center of Independent Studies, said that while both parties were reducing stamp duty, Labor's policy was more generous for those purchasing under $800,000. Some first terminus may wait to buy under the increased price cap schemes, according to Tupple. He noted that Labor's policy is more generous because Liberals' reduced stamp duty was an offset by an increase in annual land taxes. Tupple pointed out that the different policies would benefit different groups of buyers, with some rushing to take advantage of the property tax before July and others waiting till after the deadline. He anticipated that those scrambling to use a property tax would have a minimal or temporary impact on property prices. Approximately 2,330 first home buyers have already chosen to take up the property tax option as revealed by the then coalition government last week. The tax option has been available to first homeowners who purchased since the 11th of November last year 
In contrast, 2,200 stamp duty exemptions and concessions were issued in January alone under the existing thresholds, as shown by the latest figures from the Revenue of New South Wales. Michelle May, principal at Michelle May's buyer's agent, argued that scrapping the property tax would be a significant setback for first homeowners as it offered a substantial saving for the majority who planned to hold their first home for a short to medium time period. May hasn't received inquiries regarding the policy change, but she expects a rush to use the tax before its repeal, which puts additional upwards pressure on property prices in the short term. She says people are going to try and take advantage of the tax whilst it's still here, but there is a real shortage of supply at the moment. It will only be for those people who have more of a budget, who could inflate property prices up before it goes. First homeowners who opt to pay the annual tax have been driving up competition on entry level properties thanks to larger budgets resulting in the savings. Richard Matthews Real Estate noted that the property tax has been popular in inner west and particularly among older first homeowners looking to bypass the apartment stage and move directly into a small family home with plans to upsize later. He goes on to say that the property tax has been really popular, particularly in the semi-detached home range between $1 million and $1.3 million, where the cost of paying tax for five or seven years would be less than the stamp duty amount. Emmett Nakar of McGrath Parramatta suggests that those looking to buy a detached house in the region may rush to use the property tax, but he expects that other first homeowners may delay purchasing until Labor's policy was introduced. The Real Estate Institute of New South Wales executive, Tim McGibbon, called for comprehensive tax reforms that includes modeling for reducing the rate of tax on property transactions. Replacing one bad tax with another bad tax is not a tax reform, he says. The upcoming changes in the property tax and stamp duty policies have implications for the broader housing market as well, with an influx of potential buyers looking to take advantage of the current property tax system. There may be temporary increases in demand for properties priced within the effective range. This could lead to a short-term property spike as buyers compete for the same inventory. And remember to like, share and subscribe to stay informed with all things property and finance. However, as a new policy takes effect on the 1st of July, the market may see a shift in buyer demographics with more first homeowners focusing on the price bracket of 850 and below, this could actually result in increased competition within that price range and potentially lead to higher prices for properties valued within the exemption zone. In the long run, the Labor government's policy may encourage more first homeowners to enter the housing market, leading to a higher rate of home ownership. However, the impact on property prices remains uncertain as various factors, including supply and demand dynamics, interest rates, and broader economic conditions will continue to influence the market. The upcoming changes to property tax and land tax policies in New South Wales presents both challenges and opportunities for first homeowners. While some might rush to take advantage of the current system before the deadline, others may choose to wait for the new policy to come into effect. Ultimately, the impact of these changes on the housing market will depend on various factors. And it'll be interesting to see what happens. Did you know here at Hunter Galloway, we help first home buyers Australia-wide. So if you need assistance with finance and navigating around these changes, feel free to reach out with us directly on 1300 08 065 or visit our website huntergalloway.com.au. We'd love to help. Guys, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.